The story goes like this. The historically successful but aging Democratic president prepares to step aside from public life and throws his support behind a young, impressive, diverse, inspiring successor to carry his mantle forward. And no, I am not talking about Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Joining us now is actor Martin Sheen, also known as President Judd Bartlett, and Mayor McCormick, also known as Deputy National Security Advisor Kate Harper. And Kate is the co-author of the new book, I Have It Here, What's Next, A Backstage Pass to the West Wing, Its Cast and Crew, and Its Enduring Legacy of Service, which is coming out at such a perfect time. Everybody needs hope and a reminder. We were all watching that and getting a little emotional. I, uh, I, I've never seen it. You never I seen that clip you. before. I've never seen that before, and people have asked me about it. And John Spencer still lives here in our yeah. family, in your heart. and that, and, and I think that was his last scene, if I'm not mistaken, the last time profile. he appeared on camera. Yeah. And I have never seen that scene ever until this, just this moment. Yeah, and it was, <laughs> it was just overwhelming. Yeah. We were talking about him last night, and we were, we were, we were equally sad and 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 happy and joyful. Sure. To, to have worked it. with him, to have known him, I bet you and to have seen him there. I've never seen that thing before, and I'm just overwhelmed. Forgive me, I just didn't expect You that. never need to be forgiven. Yeah. I'm emotional, too, watching you, and uh, I'm watching that, thinking of yeah. how special that show is and how yeah. it brought about so much love and patriotism yeah. and commitment and connection to public service. Yeah. And it still so does. Yeah. Aaron, and Aaron, it still Aaron. does. Aaron Sorkin called the West Wing a love letter to public service. Yeah. And it is. You know, it's it's okay to feel aspirational about our government. It's it's uh, And it's nice to feel it again, frankly. No question about it. And, and that is exactly this book. It is a reminder to people. And I will tell you, I'm rewatching The West Wing. Our whole team is rewatching The West Wing. Wing nuts. Wing nuts everywhere. A remarkable <laughs> show. Uh, and I watched that and I was thinking also of Joe Biden. Um, oh. And I, I watched it a little bit earlier and I got a little emotional watching it earlier because I'm thinking of the speech he's about to give tomorrow night. And it is oh, such a prophetic yeah. moment because he is also handing over the torch. I know you both were at the White House this week, right? Yes. You spent yeah, some time yeah. with him. How was that, Aaron? Let me talk uh, with you. Yeah, you know, I got tongue tied. I, I mean, I, I just adored him, and I had an infinite measure of gratitude and praise, and and I, I, I just I, I got tongue tied. I cannot uh, remember what I said. He, he said a few things, Mr. President. Thanks for helping out, and so forth, and. And uh, I just got tongue-tied. What made me laugh in that picture you were showing earlier is he came back, uh, we've saluted each other, and he came back to me. And what he's saying right there is, do you want to talk to the gaggle? Oh, <laughs> to the press pool. Yes, yes. And then and you I, say, absolutely I, not. I said, no, no, no. I said, I, I played a president on television. This is not what I do for a living. <laughs> There you go. You can say no. President Bartlett probably was criticized, I'm sure, in some episode. Right? Not talking to the press enough. No. That's another storyline. No. I know I you, you also were there watching Marine One take off. Yeah. Which, I mean, it never gets old. No. I mean, I worked there for two presidents. It never gets old. What yeah, I can't. Think of that I, moment? I'm just a girl from New Jersey. I don't know what I was doing there. That was crazy. I mean, it was such an honor, though, to be able to just say thank you to him, mm. you know, uh, for everything he did, for saving us, for saving democracy, for 
for saving the country for his decency and kindness and leadership. One of his, one of his staff said that no president, with the possible exception of Jimmy Carter, made such a personal sacrifice mm. of true patriotism mm. and love of country. Mm. There's no question about that, and I experienced that from, from working for him, too. Yeah. So this book, it is, as I was telling you, as I was talking about earlier before, I mean, I am so inspired by this show. I actually left politics. I left the Obama administration. I was a consultant. I watched the entire seven se seasons, <laughs> and I went back to politics and worked on his campaign. And as you were saying earlier, there's this real connection between public servants who are inspired by it, but also the show was inspired by yeah. public mm -hmm. service. Talk mm -hmm. to me a little bit about that and how it's captured in the book. Well, Melissa Fitzgerald, who wrote the book with me, is um, uh, one of my best friends. She played Carol uh, to mm -hmm. CJ, yeah. and um, she she was approached to write a backstage uh, pass to the West Wing, and she said, well, it's not really my book to write. I didn't have a huge part. And I said, well, it's not my book to write. I came late mm -hmm. to the party. And, and then we were, both were talking, and we decided that the book that we could write was one that shined a light on service. If we did it through a lens of service and, and both the show's legacy to service and also our friendships, mm -hmm. we're all really close still. We're all in a text chain. We all still send out a bad signal. There's a signal. West Wing's text chain? Oh, yeah. And it's yeah, we're, half we're making fun we're of... We're still family. Oh, my God. Yeah. All day long. We make fun of Josh Molina, and then we also <laughs> ask... <laughs> ask each other to show up for events. And we, we always do. And do you I think plan the reboot we all want to happen <laughs> on that? Uh, you know what? Uh, Richard Schiff was talking about this last night, that the reboot for us is we're a little too old for the... Uh, uh, for the uh, 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 that kind of a show where we would still be in, in power. But he said that at our ages and where we are, if we started in a small town where one of us and Richard would be the key, working for a council woman, uh, a woman, man or woman who's trying to get in office, and no, uh, 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 you know, West no Wing staff, level level. nothing, yeah. and he gets involved, and that's the start of it because it's the state I'd level, the show. county level, the city level. That's you know, politics is is local, and he said that's where we could serve. So I could come into a campaign somewhere in Iowa or Mississippi or who knows where and give a, a speech for a candidate that no one's ever heard of and suddenly they have they have some light shine uh, on them and that's what we could do if it, in the way of a group. So are you listening? Aaron Sorkin. Aaron Sorkin. <laughs> oh, I'd watch that. Also, the whole cast is always invited. We'll do the whole thing here. Excellent. Let me ask you, Martin. I mean, the, the show was inspiring, too, because it brought joy back into politics. Absolutely. And yeah. politics should be joyful. Yeah. It should it be is inspired. Again. I wanted it to ask you again. about that. Uh, are you yeah. seeing that out there as you're watching uh, Harris and Walt? Seeing it, feeling mm. it. Knowing that you know, it's like uh, Reagan had an ad that that he, he won the election with primarily a new dawn in America. It's happened again. Mm -hmm. It's a new day. Uh, America is the city, the sh shining city on on the hill. Yeah. A new Jerusalem. There is a new fresh air. There is a new energy. It's young. It's yeah. vital. And it's joy filled. And it can finally breathe. Yeah, I think people watch the West Wing as a tonic, also. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, and I think that's what feels like it's happening now. That Waltz and Harris. They, it feels like a tonic. And they're what's next. You know, yeah. I'm into they're, it. They're not afraid to talk about politics on a deeply personal level. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are responsible for one another, whether we accept that responsibility or not. And we're responsible for the world because consciously or unconsciously, we've made it what it is. And that, while we, 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 we don't control the rules that govern the universe, we do control all the rules that govern our own hearts and minds. And that's what we're being given a chance to finally express. It's a, we yeah. need president, is a little, and President Bartlett inspiration. Now, we, we've seen you out there a little bit. Are you going to be out there on the trail for Harrison Walls? I hope that the, whatever we can do in whatever oh God, level. We'll show up in any way yeah, we'll that we're invited. We're at, show up in any way. I hope everybody's listening out there. They're, they will show up in any <laughs> I'll way. I'll get the West Wing, ca the chain going. To get the we're chain ready. going. I mean, they're all invited. We, we will the be there single. and cover it. Thank so you. So what's next? What's, oh, well, what's, guess what's next? There you go. That's what we're ready for. Thank you both so Thanks much. I've us. been looking forward to this all week. I'm re-watching the show. We all are as a team. I really appreciate oh, wow. being here. Yeah. Everybody go buy the book. It will bring some nostalgia and joy Thank you. back to your lives.